Thanks, Minister. Uh, I think the point needs to be made that is an, it is an absolute outrage that your predecessor allowed the complete plunder of the SABC's resources and was merely moved to another department and you're now left to clean up her mess. I think there needs to be action taken against the former Minister of Communications for allowing this. As it stands, the SABC is unable to pay local producers, it owes them hundreds of millions, it, it's unable to pay musicians, it is likely unable to pay staff and it is really, truly a sad state of affairs. Now, we now know uh, that you have uh, received the official um, application for funding from the SABC Interim Board. I believe it was sent with, to you in the last couple of hours. How much money has the SABC applied for? And what form of funding is it? Is it a cash guarantee? Is it a cash injection that they've requested? What kind of funding is it? Thanks, Chair. The Honourable Minister. You see, Honorable Van Dam, I'm not aware that they have sent that to me in the last... No, it's true, in the last couple of hours. I really am not aware, otherwise I'll be able to respond to you and give you an answer to that. But what I will tell you is that we have been working with the SAPC, a, a team that is composed of people from my office and also from the Minister of uh, Finance's office. And what the Minister of Finance has said to us is that we would need to look at quite a number of issues before we come to him for assistance to either assist in ensuring that we're able to get funding from the banks or from in other investors or even from the treasury itself for that matter. And we've looked at quite a few things. We've imposed a moratorium on capital expenditure. We have ensured that everybody who is on paid suspension, those cases must be expedited so that a decision could be made whether or not they remain as uh, employees of, um, of the corporation. We have decided to reduce the number of consultants that the SAPC uses. And the sad state is that the SAPC was using um, financial consultants when they have almost eight, if I'm not mistaken, chartered accountants in their payroll. Uh, we've imposed a, a moratorium on leave and cashment, and this, this is something that I have not discussed as yet with uh, my counterpart, the Minister for Finance. We're also looking at uh, improving strategies on the collection of, of licenses. The collection of licenses is dismal, um, where we have 150 staff members that are responsible for this. And uh, yeah, I said we'll deal with the issues around labor relations to ensure that with the, uh, sorry? Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Minister. Email. It was sent now, to you. Honourable Member, I haven't recognised you. Please, don't just jump up and use the mic without being recognised. Thank you very much. Uh, I think, I think um, Chairperson, I'd actually like to answer the question on the email. I think it is always courteous when people send you emails and you have many other things to do that they call you to tell you that they've sent you information. As it stands, I have not looked at my emails as yet. I have not, so as a result of that, I will safely say I have not received anything from them. The, I, I, don't, sit, I don't sit on the board. I... <laughs> no. Order. Just continue, Honorable Minister, with a follow-up question that was asked by the Honorable Member. Van Dam, you did say that you will get me today. So, <laughs> the issue here is that the board is seized with developing a turnaround strategy for the SAPC. That turnaround st strategy has been finalized. We have not met with the board to discuss the turnaround strategy, the interventions that are required, both from me and the rest of cabinet. So as such, right now, I cannot say what it is that I will be doing to assist on interventions that will come from the turnaround strategy once it's presented to me. Thank you.